Hey everyone, how's it going? I got a new hat. You can't really see it. Well, I guess you can here, but uh, it's a machine head hat. My it's back says, so I don't know if you can see, but it's a machine head hat. Uh, my brother got it for me yesterday. I believe he went to their concert, and he got that for me, so that's pretty nice. Um, not sure I'll wear it very often until I cut my hair, uh, just because it, if I like the other hat better for keeping my hair straight and out of the fucking way. But um, yeah, so this weekend it was uh, pretty hectic at work. We had all five lines to do. And I did two others on Saturday, which is good, really good. Um, I usually don't do that. I usually get like one and a little bit of the second one done, but I got two others done. Um, and then I finished up the third one today with the other guy that has Oilers, and then I just did shit all. Um, hold on. I don't know why. I think it's the soap that I was cleaning with. It's it's very it smells like chlorine, and I just even after I showered, I still smelled like chlorine, and I just. I just wash my hands. I don't really smell like chlorine anymore. But um, yeah, um, that 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 was a thing. But um, yeah, so er, my last vlog, I mentioned that I bought two books. One of which was this one, Dave Grohl's. Or uh, this is th this is a call. It's not written by Dave Grohl, but it's a uh, unofficial autobiography, I believe, by Paul Brannigan. Brannigan? Yeah, Brannigan. And um, it's it's a fantastic fucking book. I, I believe I'm about just getting to the two third. Two thirds way. No, actually, yeah, about two thirds way done. Um, first of all, I have this thing. I don't know why I do this, but I usually like like to leave best for last. Um, and uh, as you know, I bought Dave Mustaine's book and uh, Dave Grohl's book. And when I was fi figuring out which one I wanted to read first, I was like, okay, which one do which one would I like to read more right now? And I was like, Dave Grohl's book. And usually in a situation like this, I'd be like, okay. If I want to read Dave's book more, I'm, well, they're both named called, called Dave. If I want to read Grohl's book for more, I'll I'll read Mustaine's first, Mustaine's book first because that way I leave like the book I actually want to read for last. And I don't know why I do that. It's really weird because like that way I'd be rushing through Dave Mustaine's book, just not really absorbing anything, and just be like, oh, I just want to fucking read Dave Grohl's book. And um, but yeah, I decided that's stupid. I'm not gonna do that. And I decided to read it first. And wow, I'm so glad I did. Um, amazing, amazing book. At the at the moment, I'm in his, historically I'm at the point where Nevermind came out. It's been touring for I believe about like a year ish, and um, it's it's already Nevermind has already sold over a million copies, and it's about to hit number one I believe, or it's gonna I believe it's gonna about, about to hit number one on Billboard Top 100, 200, 400, whatever. And um, at this point, they're on tour supporting Red Hot Chili Peppers with their Blood, Sex, Magic something album, and Pearl Jam is also there, um, and if you didn't know, which I didn't, uh, Kurt Cobain actually shit-talked Pearl Jam a lot, he hated Pearl Jam because they had a very careerist attitude, and uh, that made it very awkward on the tour because as, uh, fuck, Vetter, I think his name is Vetter, I think the, the lead singer for Pearl Jam, who, I, by the way, I don't like Pearl Jam, I'm not a fan of Pearl Jam, um, they they sound a lot like Creed. It's just like yeah, it's like this jaw thing, like fucking jaw. Shout out, guys. Anyway, I don't like Pearl Jam, but um, nothing. It's people just don't like the music. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, the the Eddie Vedder. I'm pretty sure that's his name. The, the vocalist from Pearl Jam uh, was quoted for saying that it was like it was like hanging out, touring with Nirvana was like uh, playing. I was like, fuck, god damn it. it, was like hanging out with your ex-girlfriend's boyfriend who hates your guts, and I was like, okay, that, that just was a fact, and um, I believe it was Pearl Jam, and then it was Nirvana, and then it was Red Hot Chili Peppers, and um, this, there's this little anecdote uh, where Pearl Jam played the intro to Smells Like Teen Spirit before Nirvana came out, and they're like, yeah, remember we played it first, and Nirvana fans weren't happy about that, but they, Nirvana came on after and they played shit, so that was cool. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at historically, but uh, really good book so far. I'm really looking for, like, it's, I actually, I actually want, like, I love reading this book. Like, I want to read it. It's the first time I've ever actually wanted to read a book. Just fucking keep on reading and reading and reading and reading. Um, the one thing I don't like about this book, and, well, I guess the author, <clears throat> is that he, early on in the book, when he's, when it's like the early days of Dave Grohl, and like when he's starting out, going from band to band, and going from show to show, um, with just looking, watching bands, he goes into a lot of unnecessary detail. Um, for example, like, there's fucking pages upon pages of useless information about 
like this band that opened up for Dave Grohl's favorite band at the time, and like it goes into information about all of the people, like the, where, they, where they were born, who they liked, and it's just like this has no relevance. These people have no relevance. They played in a band that Dave Grohl liked, and uh, all I need to know is the relevance they had in Dave Grohl's life. Very, very simplistic. Just fucking narrow it down to like a paragraph. <clears throat> the, the influence they had in Dave Grohl's life. The members, a discography, and what, what they're doing now. That's all I need to know. That's like a page and a half, two pages. No, this guy went into like four members of the band. They had two pages each. I was like, what the fuck is this? I don't care. I just skipped all of that. I was like, I'm, I'm going to keep reading until I see Dave Grohl. Um, but, yeah. Um, and like even, even for stuff like Scream. If you don't know, Scream is a band, uh, like a punk rock, I believe, band that Dave Grohl uh, played drums in directly prior to Nirvana and um, like it's a lot of good information because that was like the band they've played in before Nirvana and so there's a lot of relevant information but there's some shit that's just no one gives a fuck like I don't I can't remember specifically but it's no one gives a fuck really but um, yeah so that's just my one quarrel with the book but other than that fantastic book so far um, I'll, I'll read you part of it Actually, I believe this is, ah, yes, I believe this is, yeah, this is where uh, Eddie Vedder is talking about. I just read this. It says, this is when he was talking about touring with Nirvana. He says, that was a little weird, admits Gossard. It was like hanging out, it was like hanging out with your ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend who hates your guts. The rivalry between the two bands added an edge to the tour in San Diego Pro Jam frontman Eddie Vedder's hometown. The singer climbed 100 feet above the stage on a lighting rig during the band's set. As watching, as a watching Dave Grohl held his breath in genuine terror. We were playing before Nirvana, yet to do something, reasoned Vetter a decade later. Our first record was good, but theirs was better. In San Francisco on New Year's Eve, Pearl Jam played the intro to Smells Like Teen Spirit during their set. As Vetter told the crowd, don't forget we played it first, the Nirvana camp were not amused. But they would have reason to smile soon enough. Soon enough. Later that evening, a record industry associate walked in onto Pearl Jam's bus to inform them that Nevermind was destined for the top of the Billboard chart. And then, uh... It has these uh, little like squiggles that signify like it's like a star at the end of the page. Anyway, anyway but yeah, that's uh, the vlog for today. I'm probably gonna go back to reading some of that. No, I have to do some homework first. I have to write a times it's six. Okay, so I have to write a voiceover for uh, college tuition things that I have to hand in tomorrow and read tomorrow. And then I'm going to I I, I swear to God, I have one more other thing I have to write. But um, I'm gonna do that. Watch some cartoons starting at eight. There's like a fucking injury at the bottom of my foot, I don't know, it hurts to walk, um, and then probably read that book until I go to bed, and then, yeah, so, I'll see you guys whenever I see you, and, ow, fuck, that hurt my knee, I love your faces, and goodbye.